All right, good evening. Welcome to the vlog. It is Monday, September 4th, around 6 o'clock. The thing going on today is trying to uh, start this this uh, diet by meal prepping. Thing I'm trying to do for three months. Going to meal prep for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the week. I'm gonna show you kind of what our process is. All right, so let's let the cooking begin. So all these ingredients are going to hopefully make dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next four days. So the whole part of the diet is not restricting me from anything. It's just proportions. So I'm going to work more with um, smaller proportions um, like I told you yesterday and we'll see what it does in three months. I plan on making a soup. I'm going to do a kind of a breakfast. Um, I still thinking about the breakfast thing but uh, I've been seeing a lot of good things with cauliflower so I'm planning on making mashed potatoes um, from this cauliflower. Thank you Andre and Adrian for the suggestion. Protein will be some tri-tip. Um, planning on doing a chicken salad uh, sandwich with the celery. We're gonna have some my like, green beans. We got broccoli. Um, we got some wild rice. This is part of the, the mayo is part of the, the salad. We got a rotisserie chicken to go with the mashed potatoes. We got spinach, debating whether to do with that. Keep it as a salad or with the chicken or cook it down and have it with the, um, the chicken too. Garlic, of course, just for flavor. Sweet potatoes and Part of red potatoes for part of the soup and then kale too. The kale, uh, the soup is going to be kind of a spin off from um, what's that Italian restaurant? Uh, they, that has all the soups and the, and the salads and the breadsticks. Anyways, they have a good soup. Um, a kale potato this is sausage. Oh, I'm gonna use ground turkey for that ground turkey soup. Okay, so got many dishes I'm gonna cook right now, um, going all at once, and then uh, we'll sh prep it and kind of show you the whole process. First thing is to cook everything. All right, let's go.
Today is Tuesday the 5th. Uh, it's about almost 3 o'clock. I'm here in the parking lot of my daughter's schools waiting to pick them up. Uh, the big thing today at work is that the air conditioning is down. Uh, right now it's about 90 degrees with a lot of humidity and it is hot in the office. So it's actually a relief coming outside because um, it's a little bit cooler, uh, but not much. It's still hot, 90. Like I said, 90 degrees with a lot of humidity. I had my lunch. Just wanted to update you on that. I had my lunch. Um, so I had the tri-tip with the cauliflower, or mashed potatoes, and was it string bean? No, no, spin and sautéed spinach. And it was good. It was satisfying. It was a proportion that I um, felt was good for me. No seconds and um, I feel content. So hopefully I can deal with uh, that size of a meal for all my meals. Uh, and I will clarify again what this, this uh, self-improvement diet is all about. Like I said, it's not about me cutting foods, um, definitely eating healthier options, but really about proportion, portion, sorry, portion control. Uh, I tend to eat more than I probably need. I was talking to some patients today and I tend to get seconds and thirds of. So the whole idea about this, uh, this new uh, diet is, uh, again, not not to limit me from foods I like, but what's really important is the, the, the amount of food I'm eating. So limiting myself only to one portion or one serving um, and then being content with that. Okay, so that's, that's kind of where I'm leading my, my diet towards. Uh, so I'm gonna see how that goes. We're gonna try that for three months. Uh, I know a big thing I really need is um, I might be, actually my appetite's okay so i've ha I had um, some breakfast which was um one egg and some ground sausage um, about a cupcake size i've drank a lot of water the rest of the day uh, and i have for dinner i'm going to have one of the other meals i prepared which is the chicken with the wild rice and string beans um, i also have other options of uh, the chicken salad sandwich and a um, soup, a turkey, kale, potato soup that I made. Um, so another problem I have with diets is that I, I, I tend to crave other things. So I, it's hard for me to eat one thing um, every day. Uh, so I, for some reason my brain just doesn't, can't handle it and I just need variety. So that's the whole, kind of what I prepared yesterday is, this, is variety. Um, so that if I get tired of one of the meals, I can supplement that with another meal I prepared. So yesterday I kind of sh showed you what I made. Um, so I made a total of, um, let me think. So I made the tri-tip meal, I made the chicken meal, I made a chicken salad. Uh, I made a soup and then I made a um, an egg and sausage uh, kind of breakfast so I made five meals um, for the for the week oh, I have a feeling it's gonna last more than a week uh, and I'm limiting myself to to three meals so that small breakfast um, and then a good good portion uh, lunch and a good portion dinner uh, I uh, one of my plans also was uh, because I have basketball practice tonight with the girls uh, I tend to get home we tend to get home around 9 30 10 and then my problem is is that I eat after 10 so by having a prepared meal I could eat dinner when I get home and then um, not eat after practice so the goal is to eat and stop all meals before seven o'clock. Um, 
and the only way to do that is to have prepared meals because I get home at 6 and I have really have no time to cook eat and then get to practice at 7 so the whole idea behind the prepared meals was to help me get that keep that pressure off of me to say oh wait I'll eat afterwards and um, eat late around have dinner around 9 30 10 which I've read is not not healthy and maybe that's what the reason why um, kind of the weight is the weight I'm in is is stuck I'm stuck there um, so after practice today what I plan on doing is um, showing you my weight um, I'll have my wife take some measurements of me uh, like I mentioned I was gonna do my hip my waist my thighs my arms and I'm gonna add my neck because my neck is you know I've got the double triple chin um, and I, I definitely want to lose that uh, so um, we'll use those as objective measurements and hopefully in three months those will all be uh, less and can, and hopefully I can cons it'll be a lifestyle change where I can continue uh, after the three months so girls will be out in three minutes I just wanted to update you on my day-to-day -day. Uh, we're all kind of where all the cooking went yesterday and um, what my plans are again I'll we'll list them out so I'm I have uh, more clarity uh, the lifestyle change the self-improvement is on its way thank you for watching um, and I'll see you again after practice uh, maybe I'll I'll vlog some of my practice with the girls today um, but the big thing is uh, I want to I want to definitely show get those measurements down and show it to you and um, I want to do that on a weekly basis so we can see the progression regression whatever um, is gonna happen in those um, from week to week in the next three months okay uh, we'll see you in a bit